things are getting even more serious in the Middle East. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get straight to the point. The U.S. military has conducted even more strikes on Houthi targets over Yemen. I sound like a broken record because I'm reporting a lot on this story. But again, let's get straight to the point and see what Central Command has to say about this new string of attacks. Straight from Central Command. In the context of ongoing multinational efforts to protect freedom and navigation and prevent attacks on the U.S. and partner maritime traffic in the Red Sea on January 17th at approximately 11.59 p.m. A very interesting time to do this. U.S. Central Command forces conducted strikes on 14 Iran-backed Houthi missiles that were loaded to be fired in Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen. These missiles on launch rails, again, the U.S. military caught the Houthis slipping. It looks like the Houthis were about to launch these things, but again, they got caught. These missiles on launch rails present an imminent threat on merchant vessels and U.S. Navy ships in the region and could have been fired at any time, prompting U.S. forces to exercise their inherent right and obligation to defend themselves. These strikes, along with other actions we have taken, will degrade the Houthis' capabilities to continue their reckless attacks on the international commercial shipping in the Red Sea, the Bab al-Mabed Strait, and the Gulf of Aden. Now, the reason why this is extremely significant, because again, I've been saying this over and over, it looks like the U.S. military strategy is to stop holding back, stop giving the Houthis a pass every single day for the last two months. Now the U.S. military's strategy, go after the Houthis directly. Something else we also have to remember is that President Biden had just recently redesignated the Houthis on the bad guy list. Starts with the letter T. You can't can't see it on YouTube, the terror list. I'm going to say it. And because of this, um, it looks like the U.S. military is either willing to start a semi-war or to at least instigate more actions. You, you have to understand, when President Biden and organizations start to redesignate people on the bad guy list, the gloves are off. And as you can see in this statement, the U.S. Uh, Central Command, they referred to the Houthis as Iranian-backed militias. This will probably completely change once we see government action and everybody puts everything together where the Houthis now are officially a terror group. And I'm sure we will now see that the Houthis, a terror organization, we're not going to see the Houthis, Iranian-backed militia. Again, there's no way to classify the Houthis other than on the bad guy list. So this is really the news and I'm not too surprised that this is happening. However, do expect the Houthis either now to change their strategy. Um, I'm a little shocked that the Houthis are like downplaying the capabilities of the U.S. military. They've never formally faced the U.S. military this bad. I mean, sporadic attacks here and there were the Saudis who were backed by the U.S. military. Like, yeah, we had to look out for Saudi Arabia. But now the Houthis are feeling the full force of a legitimate military, the best military in the world. And really, the Houthis have Iran to blame for this. Some Something else I really want to throw out there is that it looks like the U.S. military is not specifically going after actual Houthi personnel. I think this is a very important thing to understand. Once you start going after Houthi personnel, the United States has already faced this. Israel has faced this. You start to see where consequences could happen, where you might get the wrong person, or this was never a Houthi personnel. Maybe it was a journalist with Al Jazeera just trying to capture everything. And so it looks like the U.S. military is really learning from all of the mistakes the U.S. has made, Israel has made, and just stick to straight targets that have to do with infrastructure, have to do with the rail systems for munitions, things like that. You have to pay attention to all of the details. I'm even willing to bet that the 1159 time slot had something to do with something specific when it comes to logistics. The U.S. military is heavily calculated in all of this. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but it does look like this is going to be the new continuation of what we are facing. The main question is, however, are we in a war? Are we at war? I'm going to say no for right now. I do not see um, a situation currently where the U.S. military is totally justified to start a ground invasion or put troops on the ground in Yemen. First things first, Yemen is their own sovereign territory. But second, the U.S. military is not about to walk into a new war um, where we have just now designated the Houthis on the bad guy list. 
the worst humanitarian disaster we've ever seen in our lifetime in the world is happening right now in Yemen. Do you really think the U.S. military wants to now carry the burden or the taxpayers is willing to, ca is willing to carry the burden of all of this? In fact, the White House has even mentioned we are not going to designate the Houthis yet. We're going to give it 30 days so we can try and figure out how we are going to save the people of Yemen. Again, this is a really big deal that we are now starting to see escalation of force. Whose ball is the court in now? Well, it's back in the Houthis court. The Houthi got caught slipping. Um, I'm a little surprised that they got caught slipping, but I think they learned their lesson. Now that the U.S. military has put on social media, we caught you guys on the rails of your munitions. Make sure you hide it next time. So we'll see what happens. U.S. military is on standby 24-7 as long um, as well as other maritime partners to include the British, to include the French, but it looks like the U.S. military, they are the ones who are taking the burden of all of this and they are directly, specifically going after Houthi logistics assets. So that's the story. Again, don't want to waste your time. Leave your opinions and comments down below and we will see what happens next.